Please. His array of medical and administrative staff are top notch, delivering excellent services to patients, both local and international. As a philanthropist, he has impacted Africa extensively. He single handedly built more than a hundred homes for poor people in need back home. And he has supported government in Nigeria by building a world class high court, judges' living quarters, magistrate court, police station, police staff living quarters, churches, hospitals, high schools, roads. He has done it all for his community. Dr. Malika contributes to the growth of medical sciences in Nigeria. He built the tallest research center, a 17 story, all glass, magnificent edifice that is regarded as the largest research center in Africa. But not in my village. He continues to be the epitome of black and African pride in the United States. Please, a resounding applause for Dr. Godwin Madoka, please. Thank you very much. Um, what can I say? I'm very happy to be here. What a long way. This is Africa, as you will know me. Just look at us. I was in school in Atlanta, Georgia, when I was doing pharmacy school. Andrew Young and Jesse Jackson, I think they got together with some people because back in 1982-83, we were going to school in Mississippi, Black College. All of us were thinking here from Africa, still in India with people from the Delta. If somebody call you African, you're ready to fight. All the American born blacks didn't want to be called African. And and those of us from abroad in Africa, you can see what was happening. What a great way to celebrate Africa when you call it African American. And we're so proud to be African what? American. We have British Americans, Anglo Saxons, we have Latino Americans, or African American was born. So, we give glory to God. The journey that we made from Africa to here and brought us together today. Uh, briefly, after high school, I came to this country to go to college in Mississippi, pharmacy school, medical school, finished from Harvard University in Boston. Please give, give a applause to God for that. <laughs> then I came to Las Vegas. Um, it hasn't always been that good as we think. Because I was one of the few blacks anesthesiologists at UMC. Within two months, I was kicked out of that hospital. What did I do? I'm a black man. Thank God to Dr. Zobia, who got me a lawyer, fresh out of residency, didn't have a lot of money. And we got that done. Then I went on my own a year and a half after that, Law behold, I was kicked out of where? Sunrise Hospital. They told me that I'm not qualified to work at Sunrise. Before I know it, I lost my privileges. I had to go and hire lawyers to the, uh, for them to give me my privileges back. It didn't work. I was without a job, a pregnant wife. I 
Bachelor in Education, double doctorate degree, triple professorship, but I'm not qualified to work at Sunrise. I needed to use this opportunity to tell everybody here that we should be proud of who we are. Another thing I want to tell anybody, please, be your brother's keeper. Whether you're a commissioner, police officer, a doctor, whatever it is, help out. So, as you know, I have to go ahead there are about five lawyers and go to San Francisco, sue the Sunrise Hospital and for discrimination because the court here said they have the right to kick me out and want me to go back to training. So, of course, Second Court of San Francisco said there is a grant for lawsuit to sue Sunrise Hospital. Everything changed. Within two weeks, I got all my privileges in this town. Because you, those days, if you get kicked out of one hospital, you're kicked out everywhere. There is a black man known as James Tate. He's a trauma surgeon at UMC. Dr. Oz Ozobia at UMC. This is on some the heroes. They're all African Americans like us. They came out, they keep swinging, they keep fighting. Dr. Tyree Carr, ophthalmologist, they came out, said this is not going to happen in this town. But to call it short, because I don't want to belabor you today with my story, I said, I'm going to build my own hospital. As I stand here today, we have built six medical centers. That's the largest in Nevada, one of the top ten in the country. We also have been voted, my colleagues in my table can tell you, to be number one in pain center in the whole USA. So, it was such a pride that I accept this award and to tell you that I thank God every day for who we are. We're people of color, we created equal under God. Let nobody tell you you can do this or can do that, you can do whatever you can do. Obama became the president because he said nobody can tell me otherwise. Can you clap for that? That's it. So, Trevor, thank you, Chris, for recognizing this and giving me this award. I'm humbly thanking you too for this occasion. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Maruna. We also have certificates from Congress for you. This one is from Congresswoman Dina Titus. And this is um, from the United States Senate, a senatorial certificate of congratulations presented to Dr. Godwin Madikan. That's from Dean Hill. From Dean Hill. And this is from this another certificate of special Congressional recognition presented to Dr. Godwin Manuka from the House of U.S. House of Representatives. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, uh, again, this is overwhelming for me. Okay? This is really overwhelming. I wasn't going to be here today because my son is graduating from. Uh, uh, High school, but this is Africa. Africa first. My 
vow to you to me. From here on, every year, he can count me in. We will blow this joint out.